thank God for each and every one of you that are here with us. And we also thank everyone that are live streaming. We are just excited about Jesus because it is all about Jesus. And we understand that the Lord is coming back. We seem to forget that. He's coming. He's, he's not on his way back. He is coming back. In the, in the scripture says, in the twinkling of an eye. So that's not on his way back. He's not on a journey. In the twinkling of an eye. So we thank God for each and every one of you this morning. At this time, we're going to turn over to our deacon.
But you are telling thank you. Every time I think about where I come from and where I am right now, I tell it thank you. When I wake up in the morning and still have action of my limbs, breath in my nostril, I tell him thank you. When I'm cold in my right mind, I tell him thank you. So when you give, you understand that you're giving a God that made it all possible. That you're here today. He made it possible for you to even give unto him. And tell him thank you for saving you from sin. Hallelujah. He, how many of you know he said he paid our sin debt? Right. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, he paid our sin debt. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many men did you know can do that? Right. Not one of us in here can do that. But all of us in here have an opportunity to tell somebody about his goodness, right. about his grace, and his mercy. Come on, Hallelujah. Amen. So sow your seed. Yes, Believing that God is a God that heals. Deliver and set free. He's a God that honors your prayer and He blesses you. Even in spite of where you may be on, in spite of what you may be dealing with, He loves you. He said, He finds you precious above His name. You're special in His sight. Hallelujah. So we thank the Lord for you today. For all that is here, we thank God for all that is viewing live stream. If you're in the area, we ask that you stop by and visit us at 3900 Taylor Street, the place called Bread, Bread of Heaven Church. And we thank all of you that are here and ask that you still remember that we are still sowing into the building fund, that we are, we're believing our new building is on the way. Amen? Yeah. Come on, we cannot lose the vision. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So if you have your seat ready, we'll ask that you will stand. If you're yet preparing, that's fine. But we're going to move forward with this great service. Amen. I believe the Lord is going to give us something today. All right. Amen. I believe that there's a blessing in store. Every time we come to the house of the Lord, I believe that there's a word for somebody. Amen. Come on, y'all got to get excited, brother heaven. And I'm the only one excited for the Lord today. Hallelujah. I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I thank you. Hallelujah. So let us pray. And we thank you, Lord, for all of those that stand here today in sound of my voice. We thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy that kept us in our sleeping slumber hour. We thank you for keeping us along our journeys. We thank you. Father, bless those that stand here in obedience today in their giving. We pray that you bless their seed, Father, that every need shall be met. For, Father, we know that you are a God that can meet every need. And Father, we pray over everyone here, everyone attached to this great house, blessings abundant, abundant life. We speak increase. Let somebody say increase. Increase, increase over this great house. Increase over everybody attached to this spot. We thank you, Lord, that you are gracious, God, that you bless us. And we thank you and ask that you bless us and honor the seed today. It's in your God and Son, Jesus' name, my eldest brother and Savior, we pray and call it so by faith. We thank you and we give you the praise. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Starting on the red road, the Lord's asking you to turn this in the wall. Making your way to the front. May God bless you.
or this is in high school, Arkansas. And then on Sunday, uh, the fifth Sunday, June the 30th, the women's will be in ministry. Our following announcements are Joint Fellowship every third Saturday, every third Friday at 7. Every fourth Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, we have prayer at the church. The outreach ministries at, uh, at the Good Shepherd Center on the second and fourth Sunday at 4 o'clock. The men's ministry meet every third Saturday at 7 o'clock. Sunday evening service on the first and third Sunday at 6 o'clock. The choir rehearsal on Wednesday before the second Sunday and Wednesday before the fourth Sunday and every second Sunday. And the praise team rehearsal on the first and third Sunday. Our Wednesday night Bible study is at 7 o'clock. Sunday school is at 9.30 and our morning worship is at 10.45. These are our announcements. Amen. Amen. Uh, we want to add to our women's conference. <laughs> On Friday night, our speaker will be Pastor uh, Key. And on uh, Saturday morning for the prayer breakfast, our speaker will be Pastor Gwen Edwards. And she has a church in Camden. And our speaker Sunday morning will be missionary, our evangelist, Linda Thinks. We're excited about what God is doing with us. We are excited about the, the journey. When you're on a journey, you want to take people along with you. When you're on a journey, you don't want to be on a journey all by yourself. And you know, that's why Paul, he beckoned. He, he said, come on, come on, go with me. He said, I need help. And I was crying out to God and I said, Lord, I need help. So I'm asking all the ladies starting this year to be prepared to go on a journey with us next year. If you are not going this year, be prepared to go. There's nothing wrong. We understand things that come up and we understand things that are happening. We do understand that. But we want to be prepared for next year. Each year you want to be prepared. God prepared a lamb before the foundation of the world. The lamb was prepared. So we want to be prepared for whatever we're doing because only what we do for Christ is on land. And what we're looking to do on retreat is to get our strength, feed our soul, renew our relationship with God, and have renew our relationship with each other. And so I'm asking all the ladies this year to be prepared next year to be with us next year. We're going to do Hot Springs again next year. And then we're going to do another retreat. And we're going to Mississippi. Hallelujah. We are going to Mississippi in two years. And the reason why I say Mississippi is because there's a lot to offer there. There's a lot. A lot of soul searching. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of things that we as believers can come together. So I'm asking the ladies this year to prepare for next year. And if you have it in your mind now, then you'll be, you know, be prepared to go with us next year. And you know, it's still just a matter of time. We, we put that and then we do understand when things come up. So I'm excited and I pray that the, that you all continue to be excited about what is going on. Becoming a vessel of honor. And that's what we want to be. We want to we wanna be a vessel of honor for the body of Christ. Because when we go out and witness, we want to make sure that we're doing it the way a vessel. Because all vessels are used. Every vessel is used. Every vessel in the temple is used. But no matter how you look, you're used. So we thank God for you this morning. We, we want the ladies to be excited. Those of you that are not going, pray for us. Pray that we have a, a wonderful time in the Lord. Pray for us. 
And that way, we will know that uh, you are still with us in spirit. Amen. But we would just love to have you in body. So we thank God for you. And at this time, we give to Elder Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to ask the choir to come forward as we bless with a selection. Amen. Be mindful of all the events that's coming up. And we ask, as Lady Patsy said, pray for these ministries. Pray for these, these retreats and these conferences and summits because this is a part of your body. Y'all hear me? Amen. This is a part of your body. And we need to strengthen every member of the body. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. At this time, the choir is going to bless for the selection. Amen.
That's somebody's testimony. That's most of us. Us. That's our testimony. Hallelujah. If you've gone through anything, that ought to be your testimony. That you still have joy.
to all of the family members. Uh, many don't don't text and many don't have email. So we try to call and reach out to many of the of, that we can to get the word out. Amen. Amen. But we thank God. I want to draw your attention quickly to Psalm 76. Amen. How's everybody feeling? Where the enemy is broken. Right now. 
Hallelujah. The word says, in Judah is God known. And we know that Judah means praise. Right. Is that right? Right. Hallelujah. And so the word begins to declare to us that God is known in Judah. So when we begin to learn how to praise God, I don't think a lot of people understand the significance of praise and the power of praise. I think, I, I think people, we, we are a people that where we adapt to customs and rituals and behavior patterns wow. to where we begin to mimic and we begin to copy others. And it's really not praise. Uh, we're just going through a moment or a motion. We're, we're going through something that we have learned. Mm -hmm. right. Hallelujah. And, 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 and that, is, that is good in its elementary stage. Right. Right. Because you, you, know, you see, you see uh, children, you see Paris, you may see Jordan, you may see other little children, and, and they look at somebody and they just start clapping yeah. and moving because they see somebody else. Yeah. And, 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 and the truth be told, a lot of us do the same thing. Yeah, we do. Right. Uh, 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 because we, we, are, we even orchestrate pray. praise. Praise should never be orchestrated Come on, now. in my mind. Praise ought to be something that is, is it, it just fluid. It flows uh, uh, naturally. It flows, amen, without uh, uh, being instructed to. Uh, praise is, 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 is amen, it's, it's, it's more than somebody telling you, lift your hand, stomp your feet, turn around, amen. Click two times, and all. It, it, it's more than that. Uh, uh, that, it, 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 man, you can train a dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just be real. I'm, I'm not calling anybody a dog, but I'm just saying that you can learn something repetitive long enough to where it just becomes a habit. Yeah. And, 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 and there's no thought process in it. That's right. Come on, man. You, you just do it. If, 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 amen. If, if, you, if you blow a whistle, amen, a pet animal will flip. Yeah. Come on. Come on, because he's been trained to hear that sound, and that sound, he flips uh -huh. at a sound. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And many times, amen, this is no fault of the musicians, but in the middle of praying, that when you hear a certain sound, uh, you know, automatically, uh -huh. automatically, and and there's something about music. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Something about music yeah. that when you hear a particular sound, and and, and and that's good, and it has its place because there has to be uh, a, a connection between you and praise. But your focus of praise is not on the music, not on the musician. Come on, son. But your focus of praise, praise should take you into a dimension that where uh, you forsake the music. Come on. Yes, you forsake the musician. See, the musician of the music helps you get there. But it's not the end all. Uh, because you pray should take you into a realm that where you don't hear music. <laughs>
God is it, 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 uh, praise, praise is is more than just what we deem it to be. Right. Yes. Yes. Praise is a vehicle yes, it is. to get you to a place. Hallelujah. It, it helps you get there. Yes. Come on, hallelujah. But but you got to be able to grow into a mature praise. Oh, I'm on uh, a mature praise. Yes. Hallelujah. That well, amen, that you, you have learned the ABCs of praise. Yeah. Uh, but, but now you have elevated your understanding and appreciation of praise. Yeah. Yeah. That well, hallelujah, because sometimes folk will come into the house of prayer and the house of worship and they say, well, 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 well what are we going to do? We, we have no music. We, 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 the, 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 the drama ain't here. El, El Holloway, uh, Sister Brenda, Brother uh, 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 Mike, we ain't got nobody to beat the band and, and, and hit you. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? See, uh, a mature phrase uh, is it, not hung up That's right. if there is no sound. Praise will create its own. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Its own sound. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Because I, 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 I learn and yet learn. Because praise is a, uh, it, it is a revolving, evolving, hallelujah, manifestation of where it, it, it takes me more and more into, amen, the realm where I know God more. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And as I know him more, hallelujah, praise becomes more fluid. Yeah. In other words, in other words, I don't have to work up. Mm. Come on. I don't have to work up a praise. It, it, it's fluid to where praise just flows. Yes, sir. It flows. In Judah is God known. When we talk about praise, praise it opens the door for a revelation of who God is. Yes. God shows himself in praise. Yes. Yes. Matter of fact, the words say that he inhabits yes. the praise. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise becomes a dwelling place huh. of God. Come on, yeah. Yeah. He's revealed. He's known. We have to understand that praise has power. Yeah. Praise is a weapon of war. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat, praise God, used praise yeah. as a weapon of war. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Hallelujah. God shows up in the midst of our praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. He doesn't, he doesn't show up in the midst of performance. He doesn't show up in the midst of entertainment. He doesn't show up in the midst of any theatrical expression, hallelujah, that we try to use to feed to feed our flesh. Hallelujah. The Bible says they that worship God, I must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And so when we talk about praise, when we talk about Judah, God is known in praise. Amen. Praise, uh, I'm sorry, praise is more than just, hallelujah, some orchestrated, some uh, 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 man-made arrangements, hallelujah, amen, and, and, and I understand that, amen, there has to be order, there has to be the proper protocol, hallelujah, but you have to learn that praise, hallelujah, it, 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 it causes you 
to come to a realization, hallelujah, that who you are and what you have did not come of your own making. Hallelujah. That you praise God, hallelujah, for who he is and what he has done for you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise. I'm talking about a Judah praise. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not a self-centered praise. Amen. A Judah praise. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes us to an, an area that where God reveals his true nature. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And Israel at times had an understanding of that. Israel understood the significance of praise. But many times they allowed the enemy to come in and close their mouths. And we, 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 we fight the same fight. Hallelujah. Because sometimes that we uh, 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 would allow the devil, amen, to muffle our mouths come on. Come on now. because we got bad news. Because somebody did you wrong. Well, things didn't go well. We have people that say, I, I, no, I, I feel it. You have people that say, I'm going to church today, but uh, in a hard way, he got to do something. I ain't feeling it. He got to hit something right for me to get into it. No, 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 no. It, 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 it ain't the, uh, 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 don't put that weight on him. Don't, don't. See, he, because if he don't hit it right, because at all, he, uh, he didn't bring it to that. Yes, he brought it. He bring it every Sunday. Uh, Mr. Hogan and like that. Amen. They bring it every Sunday. But no, no, don't, don't put that weight on them. Right. Hallelujah. You've got to have a walk with God yes. and a relationship with God that where you develop your own praise. Yes. You develop your own praise. Before you get in the door and see the amen that ain't none of them here. <laughs> you got to come in with your own praise. Yes. Come on, somebody. Musicians are not here for praise thing. Still got to get up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You still got to have a praise. It ain't nobody here but me and you. Come on, somebody. God has done enough for us. Come on, somebody. To give him a praise that where we know him. And we don't doubt him because we know him. And therefore, hallelujah, I give him. That the battle is won. Yeah. The battle is won. Judah, Judah's praise. God is known there. He's known. See, one of the tricks of the devil is to try to get us to look not so much at what God has done, but to look at what has not happened. What we don't have. Uh, 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 to look at other successes ah. oh, and we look at our failures. Ah. Look, look, look at others' uh, uh, prosperity uh -huh. and look at our lack. Uh -huh. And so uh, we, we, we try to measure the level of praise depending upon how blessed we are. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. It amazes to me how uh, 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 even we see this in children. Hallelujah! We see this in children, and and, and uh, you see, you see, amen, you give one child a toy, uh -huh. and then you give the other children two. Yeah. And the one with one would look at the other one and say, "You gave him more." Uh, come on, but before I give you the one, you had nothing. Come on, now. Ready? Uh, be thankful. Come on, somebody. Be thankful for the one. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And that, and that would open the door for your deserving of two. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and the same thing with us as believers. We adults. Come on. We begin to look at other folk and how they're blessed compared to our blessing. Hallelujah. Don't you know that whether you've been blessed one or a thousand, that is enough for you to give God some praise. Yeah. It is enough for you to magnify yeah. God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. I was talking to, I was talking to, a, amen, to a person the other day, and uh, and they they're working uh, 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 part time, and uh, uh, I'm quit. I ain't making no money. I ain't making no money. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, let's do some quick, quick, simple math. Come on, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's just a quick math. Okay. You work in part time. Bringing in some money. And you want to quit. Come on, come on. Do, 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 a little money is better than no money. Well, 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 well I'm, only, I'm only making, I'm, I'm only making $9 an hour. Okay, $9 an hour is better than zero dollars. And, and, and I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get them to see. Uh, okay, be thankful yes. for what's in your hand. Yes, but God, before you had that, there was nothing in your hand. Come on, somebody. And so I praise God for what he put in my hand. And if I learn to appreciate what's already in my hand, if I learn Hallelujah. 
Amen. Before you leave the house, something and something and broke out and amen and got you flustered and frustrated. Hallelujah. So when you come here, come on, somebody, hallelujah. That you sit down and don't open your mouth and don't say nothing. That's right where the devil wants you. He wants you to feel. He wants you in bondage. He wants a stronghold over your life. He wants you to close your mouth and don't say nothing. But he knows that the battle is won. When you give God a praise, the victory is won. When you open your mouth. Hallelujah. Judah. The battle is won. In Judah. There. It's broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word said, no weapon formed no weapon, no weapon. against you, no it shall not prosper. Oh, Is that right? Yeah. Look what it says. It says, in Judah, in, in Judah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know what, what, what makes a Sunday morning praise greater? It's when you didn't praise all week. When you didn't praise all week, it makes Sunday praise that much better. Because when you bring your praise, and I bring my praise, and she brings her praise, and Deacon bring his praise, and Brother Moore bring his praise. Come on, somebody. And Sister Gussie, bring her praise. Hallelujah. And Sister Tabitha, bring her praise. Her praise. And Ella Scholar, bring his praise. Come on, somebody. Amen. Ella Scholar, bring his praise. Hallelujah. And we bring all our praise together. Hallelujah. And you thank him for the goodness in your life. And I thank him for the goodness in my life. And you thank him for what he brought you out of. And I thank him for what he carried me through. And we lift up that praise together. In Judah, in Judah, in praise, in praise, in praise, in praise, in praise. In praise. I, 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 I'm, I'm maturing to praise. Anyhow, thank you, sis. Anyway, I, I praise him. I praise him. Hallelujah. I praise him. I praise him. I praise him. There's not a room in the house that I hadn't praised. Yeah, I praise them. I praise them, Pastor. I praise them in every room of the house. He deserve a praise. Come on, somebody. I praise him. I praise him. I praise him. I praise him in the kitchen. I thank him for that. All I got to do is turn on and off. I don't have to chop wood anymore. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I praise him in the kitchen. Praise him in the bedroom. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got a nice king size bed. I don't have to make a pallet on the floor anymore. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. So I praise him in the bedroom. I praise him in the bathroom. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I don't even have to go outside. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me.
worship us. Idol worship us. Hey, this. Come on, somebody. I got to praise him. Because I'm around folk that don't think like me and believe like me and worship like me. Hallelujah. I got some folk around me that don't believe that there is a God. I got some folk around me that don't, don't believe that healing is for today. We don't feel our best. We don't feel our best. And we, 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 we wrestle with physical and emotional issues. And it, 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 it may impact our praise. But you know what praise, praise requires. Praise demands. A sacrifice. Saints praise demands a push. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Have, have you ever been pushed? That way, it, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't all there. But and the devil tried to keep you suppressed, and he tried to keep you depressed, and tried to keep you oppressed. Amen. Try to get you to regress. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Amen. Amen. But you have to. Oh, who, who am I talking to? But you have to push. Oh, hallelujah. Praise. Amen. A push. Hallelujah. Some of you gotta push right now. Hallelujah. What you got back at the house? What you got at the job? You gotta push.
talk to that situation. So, I, I, amen. Uh, 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 I ain't gonna deal with you right now. Come on now. I got to, I got to go pray. I'll deal with you when I come back. Amen. I, I, I got to go praise. I, I, I got to get my praise on. I, I, I got to get God his due. Stay right there. I got to go. I got to go run right quick. Pay on my praise account. Stay right there. Stay right there. I, I, I got to go take care of this bill because it's all this thing is almost overdue. Well, my daughter is, is, 
is, is away at school and, 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 and sometimes she called me, amen, and she using somebody else's phone. And I said, and, and, and they know if, if, I, if, if, if I don't know who it is, I don't answer. And so she'll call two or three times and say, who is this? Keep calling me. And then it'll dawn on her. And then she'll send a text, that is me. I said, oh, you better say something. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't you ain't gonna get answered, baby. Well, Dad, I could be on the side of the road. I'm sorry. You better let me know who you are. Stop answering the devil. Don't respond to his text. Don't take his call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's trying to steal your prey. Hallelujah. I'm praising God when I get out of my car, yes, sir. walk across the parking lot, get to my office, I'm praising. But I don't know what's on the other side. But whatever it is, it ain't gonna steal my place. Sister Beard ain't gonna take my joy. I still got joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I do something here to get away from that place. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I get off at 4 o'clock every day. Amen. You can blink about 3.30. I'll start shutting it down. I'll start shutting it down. Be or to be made whole. All right, all right, all right. 
Yes. Hallelujah. Not only Salem. Salem, Salem is. Uh, uh, if you go back to the book of Genesis, Salem is it is the res, it, it is the residing place. Hallelujah. Of 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 the priest and king male Kesedek. It is a place that where they reside. Yeah. He resort, He resided there in Salem. Is that right? He's called the king of Salem, the prince of Salem. It was there that Abraham, amen, offered up to him the tithe and blessed him there. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. Salem, somewhere down the, amen, its journey, the name was changed from Salem to Jerusalem. Yeah. All right. Jerusalem, hallelujah, amen, Jerusalem, uh, one aspect of, of, of the name uh, uh, of Jerusalem, amen, it is the city of peace, not only the city of David, but it is the city of peace, hallelujah, and I want you to understand, the Bible says perfect peace, amen, will defeat the enemy, right. perfect right. peace, cast out Fear. Is that right? It is a place of peace, y'all. That amen. The enemy is broken in peace. Right. Amen. He is. Because when you walk in an element of peace and your adversary comes against you, hallelujah, they have nothing, hallelujah, to use against you. Because you are in a state and element of peace. Alright. When you have peace in your mind, hallelujah, the devil cannot defeat you in the area of your mind. All right, right. Because right. you walk in peace. All right, right, right. Hallelujah. It is, it, is in, it is in the realm of this peace, hallelujah, that where the enemy will come against you, hallelujah. The Bible talks about that, that there is a place in God, hallelujah, that there is a place of rest. In God, yeah, yeah, yeah. that where the enemy cannot go. That's right. That, the Bible makes mention that it is a hiding place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the enemy know nothing about. Come on, somebody. There is an element of peace, y'all, that the world cannot comprehend. Amen. Concerning what you and I have. Right. Hallelujah. There is, amen. There is an element of peace. Hallelujah. That defeats the devil, the devil, and frustrate him because he cannot get us frustrated. You know one of the one of the worst things or one of the worst things that your enemy cannot stand? They cannot stand, hallelujah, your silence. Ah, that That's it. When you don't come back home. Huh? When you ignore them. Huh? When there is when there's nothing coming out of you that's negative. There's nothing that's coming out of you, hallelujah, on their level. You have a level of peace. Well, you have a level of peace that they don't understand. And it frustrates them. Hallelujah. The battle is won there in peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. It is, it is not so much, it is not so much what comes out of your mouth, hallelujah, that will defeat your enemy. It is what comes out of your spirit. If your spirit is at peace, yeah. the devil has nothing to grab onto. Come on. Ah. I learned that. I learned that. I learned to just have peace. Hallelujah. To have peace. And it is in those times that where God will meet you in his peace. Wow. Look what it says. It says, in Salem also is his tabernacle. Uh -huh. it's just, amen. God, God, amen, has places that where he abodes. Hallelujah. He abides in our praise. Hallelujah. He abides in our peace. Hallelujah. And it is a place of peace where the devil can not penetrate. That's right. Peace. Yeah. It's more peace. Yeah. Peace. Bible says it is the peace of God that has all understanding. Amen. It should keep you and your hearts. Uh -huh. See, the devil wants to come in and disturb not only your praise, but he wants to disrupt your peace. 
But I refuse to allow the devil your peace. Your peace should be more valuable than your money. Come on. You, the peace that you have should be more valuable than any material possession that you have. Yes, Lord. I want peace. I want peace. I may not have the possessions that you you hold, but I have peace. I have peace. Hallelujah. I thank God that he gives us an element of peace that the enemy know nothing about. And I can use peace as a weapon against the enemy. My peace defeats him. Hallelujah. My peace confuses the enemy. See, because when you walk in peace, the devil don't know how to address you. Come on, y'all. But but if you're all up in their face, they understand that. Right. If you're coming back on them, they understand that. No, right. uh, come on, somebody. But when you walk in peace, they want to deal with it. I'm calling her all kinds of something. So she ain't saying nothing. Is she crazy or what? They don't know. Yeah, they don't know what to do. With you. you having a peace? But if you stand flat footed and come back on them and stand toe to toe with them, come on, somebody. They gonna pull you in. That's right, baby. Come on, somebody. And before you know, you all the way in, and folks standing back looking at you. suck you in. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you all the way in now. And you are expressing all kind of, all kind of, amen, all kind of expression that's coming out of you. Come on somebody. You done let the devil rob you of your peace. Don't do it. Don't do it. But you frustrate him to no end when you don't say nothing. You walk in peace. That's it. Hallelujah. It's Salem. He's there in peace. Now come on. In peace. See, when you're in peace, you can walk in the fiery furnace. When you're in peace, you can lay down on the main of the lives. That's that. When you're in peace, you can be in shackles from head to toe. And a quarter of soldiers on both sides of you, ask Peter. And you can sleep in peace. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is in those times of peace that where God give you the victory over your enemy. Yeah. Peace, peace like a river. Yeah. Like a river. You. Amen. Amen. Let me hear you. My time is almost up. We want to get out of here. Hallelujah. Is that 10 or almost 11? It's almost 11. Hallelujah. Let me hear you over here. Look what he says. He says, in Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. Zion is known as the city of David also, also known as Jerusalem. And the Jewish people, they are oftentimes referred to as the sons or daughters of Zion. But Zion for the, for the body of Christ hold another significant, hallelujah, meaning. Zion is symbolic of the church. It is symbolic of the church, the house of God. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. The battle is broken in the house. All right, all right. In Zion. All right, yeah. Come on, y'all. 
See, that's why the devil fights a lot of us and fights, a, amen, a good segment of believers, and he has turned them against the house. Right. Well, I ain't got to come to church. I ain't got to come to church to be saved. I ain't got to come to church to know God. See, and the devil has convinced a lot of folk that they ain't got to come to church. Amen. I know y'all didn't hear me. Y'all probably got something in your family just like I got in my family. Amen. All of a sudden, they, they, all of a sudden they stopped coming to church. They just got to hold some kind of revelation and say, I ain't got to go to church. All right. All right. Hallelujah. And they have brought into their life. But the ground is broken in the house. Okay, 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 you ain't got to go church, okay, okay. 
Move back to the house. Move back to mama's house. Come on. Okay. You got to go to church. You say you don't need a house. Okay, okay, well, well, move. Oh no, I got a place to stay. Oh. Oh. Okay, why you got a place to stay? Come on now. Well, I can't, I can't be outdoors. I got a place to sleep. I got a place to eat. Yeah. Oh, well, what is the church? Come on, son. What is the church? Huh? Come on now. You said you got to have a place to sleep, right? Okay. So then the church is a place of rest. Yes, Come on now. You said you got to have a place to eat. Come on. Well, the church is a place where you can come get fed. Come on now. But you ain't got to have the house. Come on. But you got to have the house. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand that. Come on, now. Come on But I know that if I stay connected to the house, the battle is won. Chapter 27, Paul makes mention of a ship as a type of the church. Paul was on a journey and he had to get there. But the storm came up. Y'all remember that? A storm came up over in Acts 27, there about verses 28 to 31, somewhere in there, that the ship was being tossed. And the man says, let's cast everything off. Let's we go down with the ship. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But Paul says, hallelujah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. He's, but Paul says, no, 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 you gotta stay with the ship. Is that right? And if y'all got telling for you, no, 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 no. Verse 30, he said, and the shipman was about to flee out of the ship. See, but you got some folk running from the church and don't know that the battle is won in the house. They're running from the church because they hear all of this stuff that's going on in church. Huh? Well, it's stuff going on in your job. But you go back every day. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. Because you had one bad experience at a burger joint. You don't stop eating burgers. You just don't go to that one. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look what he says in our text. Look what he says in verse, verse 3. He says, there. There. Where? 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 In praise, in peace, in the house. Yes. There. There he breaks. Once we step outside of the confinements of God, God is not obligated. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's not obligated to protect you. Right. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Every month, every month, the State Department of the, of the United States, they post a listing of nations that you should not travel to. That's right. Without precaution. Is that right? Every month, every month, they post countries and nations that's on their top ten or whatever list it is. Yeah. That if you if you travel to these countries, you travel at your own discretion. Right. Come on. That's right. That's right. They're giving you forewarning. Yeah. If you travel to these countries, you may or may not be able to get back. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. I pay attention to it. Some of them I don't want to go anywhere. Amen. I am not going to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Mr. Randall, you ain't trying to be the dog. I'll do the package deals. I ain't going. I ain't going. I ain't going to the Middle East. I ain't going to some, to some countries in the motherland. Come on now. Yeah, they gonna talk to me. They gonna talk to me. Huh? Hey man, there's some cities I don't want to even go here. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Come on, somebody. Hey man, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. But I gotta stay in the house. Yes, My protection is in the house. Amen. My safety is in the house. Amen. I cannot see myself walking away from the house. I can't see it. Amen. Not after all this time. I got a co-worker who has an aunt. <laughs> She shared with me that she's 70, almost 75 years old. Been in church most of all of her life. And now she's come to the point where she's saying she don't need no longer go to church. And so you have people that have broken ties with the house. But I thank God that the house is a city of refuge. In the Old Testament, they had cities of refuge. Come on, preacher. That if you commit crimes, but if you made it to that city, made it to that city. Right. you're gonna find it, it, it's like now that we have we have uh, uh, U.S. Uh, assemblies in different countries. And that if you get in trouble, you can go to the embassies, the embassies. Well, in the Bible, they, they had cities of refuge. That where you could go to the city of refuge and find safety. This is what the church is, y'all. It is a place that we can come and find refuge. It's in that place that the enemy is defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I never shall forget one of my former sister in laws. She had grew up in church. But she got away from church. And she got caught up into Jehovah's Witness. The grandmother that raised her passed away. They had a funeral at the church. This young lady 
stood at the entrance of the church crying on her knees. Said, I'm not my grandmother. I love her. But I can't go in there. And you have many people that the devil had lied to. Come on, Bishop. That have convinced them you can't come in the house. Hallelujah. I tell people all the time, get to the house. Get to the house. Amen. Hallelujah. What house you belong to? Well, I don't get to the house. Hallelujah. It's there that the enemy is defeated. It's there that there's a line he cannot cross. And I want to challenge you today. I want to thank you today. I want to give God praise today. I want to honor. I want to honor uh, uh, the house today. It's in the house. Hallelujah. I dare not separate myself from the house. I dare not, amen, break ties with the house. The house is my dwelling place of safety. Yes, yes. yes. The, it's in the house oh, yeah. that I'm able to have strength. Hallelujah. Look what he says. Look what he says. He said, In Zion, in Zion is his dwelling place. Hallelujah. What is he saying? He's saying to you and I, it's in the house that God abides. And when you come to understand that when you leave the house, There's no safety. There's no safety. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, look, look in your Bible right quick to Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Look in your Bible to Psalm 24. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 24. Hallelujah. Psalm 24, verse 1, it says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and the world of they that dwell therein. For he had founded upon the seas and established upon the flood. Who shall ascend to the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, your heads, ye gates. Lift up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong, and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Yes. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. What happens when we come in the house? God meets us here. Hallelujah. He meets us in the house. Yes. He is the God of strength. He is the God of might. He is the God of the battle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
go back, go back to our text just for a minute. Verse 3 says this. Thank you, Lord. Verse 3 says, it is in Psalm, Psalm 76. Verse 3, he says, there break he the arrows of the bow. He breaks the arrows of the bow. The bow is no good without the arrows. Praise the Lord. See, he breaks that which can injure you. Because if he just breaks the bow, the arrow seal can penetrate you. He breaks the arrows. Oh, thank you, Jesus. See, it's in those places that he breaks the weapons of the adversary. Look what it says. He break there, break he the arrows of the bow. Every word the devil shoots against you, God breaks. Every arrow that fly by day, God breaks it. Hallelujah. He'll break it in praise. He'll break it in peace. He'll break it in the house. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He breaks the arrows. And then it said he breaks the shield of the enemy. Everything that blocks you, he'll break it. Everything that has kept you from your blessing, He'll break it. Everything that has kept you from your deliverance, he'll break it. Hallelujah. He breaks the shield. Hallelujah. And the sword. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he breaks the battle. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. See, every battle is not yours to fight. Some battles belong to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you've got to, you've got to understand that God has favored you through praise. He has favored you through peace. He has favored you in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he'll cause you to be victorious over your adversary. And he'll cause you, hallelujah, to have a reminder of who God is. Hallelujah. The Bible says this of David, David, that when David faced Goliath, the Bible said that God gave David the victory over his adversary. Is that right? Just not, he just didn't defeat Goliath. But David, the Bible said that David took Goliath's own sword. Come on, come on. And cut his head off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And brought it back. Yeah. And put it in his tent as a reminder. Yeah. Wow. Come on. Look what my God. That's done. Yeah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on. You give him the victory in your praise over your enemy. You give him the victory when you have walked in the peace of God. You give him the victory when you stay with the house. Right in heaven. Get ready to raise up. 
up the head. Get ready to raise up the head of your adversary.
Lord. Oh, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. The Lord won't take you there. He's going to break. He's going to break the arrows of the enemy. He's going to break his shield and his sword. And he's going to break the battle. Some battles you're fighting. And you're getting frustrated. But God wants to break that battle. That the enemy you see today, you won't see no more. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. My God. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. You got a battle you're fighting? Come up here. You got a battle you're fighting? You know, the Civil War, those battles were so many years. World War I was so many years, World War II was so many years, the Korea War was so many years, the Vietnam War was so many years. Yeah, amen. But guess what? The people of God, the, the sons of God, the daughters of God, which is Israel, they won a battle in six days. Y'all remember the six day war? Six days. They won the battle. Right now. My soul. God wants to break the battle. He wants to break the battles. He wants to break the battles. He wants to break the battles. Break the battle. Thank you. Come on, give up your praise. 
pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, Lord. Father, we, we offer up to you a praise like never before. We offer up our love to you like never before. We honor you. Jesus saying, I want the body to stretch your name.